Okay, so we are in not so but that is like what we are uh, to be in this artificial technical reality in the sense that that's where we originate from, that's our origin, if you like. Now, most people would agree with that, I think. Most people would agree with that. Um, so, there shouldn't be a problem with that, even though I'm not 100% sure what I'm saying. Uh, because, you know, it just occurs to me, and of course, this has been um, uh, pushing me as well in the world, but not directly, not directly. Even even if I have a discussion with someone which I don't, I don't discuss normally. There's only one or two people that I would have even discussed the matrix with, like directly on a one-to-one -one basis, and that's the Englishman. Um, who lives in London, obviously. Well, not necessarily. I suppose it could be an Englishman that lives um, anywhere in the world, I suppose. Because that's like me saying I'm Australian. That just simply means you're born in a particular place, in a particular country. It happens to be called England. And, in the, you know, but I'm assuming that, like myself, if you're born in, like I was born in Sydney, Australia. And Sydney is the main city in Australia. And so London is the main city in England. So if you're born in London, you know, you're an English, you know, go through it. And so I'm an Australian, you know. But that's, that's just, um, that is just where you're born. It doesn't mean that's where you come from originally. No. I wouldn't think. But anyway, I don't want to get too carried away with myself or, or overstep my mark. Um... But I was just going to say that, um, yeah, just because you are born in a particular place, or if you are in a particular area, like if you're in a matrix, like where was I before I came into the matrix? You know, or am I a product of the matrix? You see, that's the question um, you have to ask yourself. Well, I don't want to be a product of the matrix, and I don't feel that I'm a part of the matrix, because if the matrix um, seems to be in opposition to you, it seems reasonable that perhaps you're not part of the matrix. That's what the only thing that, that's the only conclusion I've come to in my own personal thing, really, and that's what, um, that's what puts you on this, um, looking, uh, this, uh, looking for searching for what is the bottom line or what's the, the truth of the reality or what's the truth of the reality to yourself because that's, you have to do that because if you feel that um, you're if you feel that I don't want to sound dramatic here but if you feel that the world is turned against you for no reason and that's what happens to um, um, European beings I think at this time not all, because some will be, if you're, if you're sufficiently in the dark, I would think. But, um, you know, like I've, I've said it so many times before, like I was pretty much in the dark. But the matrix still came down on me. That was because I was seeing some, when you say some light, that just means some truth. Some, something that you didn't see before about the people around you. You know, that they're not the same as yourself, that you have to be careful. That's how it started for me. That's all it was. And then the matrix come down because I didn't know. I, I thought, oh, well, I shall just avoid and be very careful with people from now on in my life. 
um, or I shall be careful to look out for certain types of people because they always come around me and they will take over my life and cause me a big problem. They will, um, that they, because they are anti against you, because that's, that's what you realise when you come in contact with five traffic traps. And, um, is that you sort of say, oh, that's, that's what happened to me because I had that realisation. And that's um, what led to my uh, seeing the reality different or, or awareness, shall we say, of what was around me more. I was forced to, but also um, I got myself convoluted here. I don't know why, but I shouldn't be because uh, that, uh, because. I just let I just let my mind just temporarily go on to other people and away from the video. I'm sorry about that. So as you can see, I lost my total sentence there, and that's um that's not even the matrix. I'm not even going to blame what's around me for that. That was purely myself thinking that perhaps I wasn't that maybe I shouldn't be saying this, or maybe I should be saying it a different way. But I'm not putting it right. So, and I am having difficulty talking here. Uh, not because, uh, only because I, never mind, it doesn't matter. Try to focus, focus. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, I've, I've rambled on about this so many times, it must be boring, and it must be, but, um, uh, perhaps I'll leave that because I've, completely lost the lost the whole plot here. But I hope that you can see that I'm sitting in the usual spot. It is now midnight. It's midnight here. And as you can see, last night, um and Patrick oh, doesn't like me saying, uh you know, I'll have a visitor soon, shall we say. I should have changed that. But, but, it, but you know, it's... Oh, yeah, I was just going to say that I've only really conversed about the matrix with two people. The, um, the Englishman and, of course, naturally, as you know, I have con I've conversed since it opened up with my son because for the obvious reasons. But very few other... But no one else really have I conversed with about the matrix, you know, at all. Um, on a one-to-one -one personal basis. The rest is all just these videos which, um, you know, mainly would be seen by people on the other side of the world. There could be people even in my own country that might see them, but I'm unaware of it. Um, uh, according to my son, the neighbours probably have a look. But then again, you know, that is not really that relevant because these people are all downloaded human thought anyway, because they are of the matrix, most of them, so, so, um, so that's a different thing. But whether they um, comprehend it fully or see it the same way that I do or understand, it, look, I don't think, personally, I think that because most of the technical beings um, decipher, I would say, or interpret what I say or what other humans say differently to how we would expect them to problem. That's my observation, but I could be wrong. That means that they will interpret what we say, what a human being says to, uh, to an artificial uh, you know, being in a human body. Because we're all in a certain human body in this reality. Now, whether this is our correct body or not, I cannot say. I personally feel, but I don't like to say what I'm not 100% sure of, but I'll say it anyway, because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It doesn't matter. 
you know, well, it does matter, but if I'm wrong and I find out different, well, I'll know different. And if I'm still making the video, I'll, I'll correct it, you know. But personally, I think that the human body, you know, like I feel that my human body is my human body, but at the same time, I also feel that it's not under my control. So there could be something else going on that I'm not aware of. But of course, the matrix is suppressing and downgrading the human body daily. So I would be um, feeling better and doing better and even mentally better um, if my body was less suppressed too. That is, that is the challenge too of being in the matrix, but unfortunately some of us are failing that one, at least I am, because you let the matrix get on top and mentally. And so that gives them more of an edge even spiritually and physically, if you know what I mean. All these things are kind of connected. Uh, of course, you can't always stop the attacks on the body because if you're surrounded by technology and it's directed at your body, etc., you can only protect yourself as best you can. But if you're not protecting yourself physically, as I don't, like, and I mean in the real world, um, and you're relying on protecting yourself solely at a spiritual level, in other words, a vibrational level, or, a, you know, a, at that level, because everything is vibration and um, stuff like that in this matrix, because it's controlled by that. So it's a physical, technical matrix controlled by the technical God and its beings, its disciples, its minions. But it is also controlled by the spiritual vibrational feel of the human being because we're still here and because we have input that way and because um, spiritual is always going to be stronger or should be stronger than technical. The deception of the matrix is to make you believe that technical is spiritual somehow. That is how they, that is the trick of the matrix, that is the trick of the matrix God and its disciples. I'm getting loud here, I'm sorry, but that's because that is the deception, that's the game, that's the end game for human beings and for this matrix. You can call it an end time scenario if you want to be more advanced than myself. Yes, because that is what it is. That is what it is. Because I see the deception, and you see how it's changing things and how it could be total technological takeover. It already is, but it's a question of whether they can take down or take over the real spiritual human beings that actually has to, that are supposed to have an input because it's a vibrational matrix in it. Even though it's technical, the technology is trying to override the natural vibration of a human being. So the game is to take over the real human beings that are left in the matrix. You know, because most have gone for what I can see. And this is what I've been told by the Englishman. And this is what I see around me anyway. But I didn't realise, you know, because you only see your own local area. So you probably say, oh, well, maybe they've just moved all the real humans out and the rest of them have invaded, you know, like the technical beings have took their place. And, and you know, you could say invaded, but that's probably a strong word. But, but no, it's not exactly correct. It just means that if you if you um if you can make um you know other people leave, which I've seen happen anyway in my own local area, um and then you bring your own ones into the houses and into all the shops and everything that's in your local area, you just assume that maybe that that's more uh, your own area, but you know. From what I can gather from, you know, the Englishman said to me that that seems to be the case in other parts of the world. And um, 
And if you think about it sensibly, that makes more sense. You know, especially allowing for the tech, the fact that the technology in, a re in this reality over the start and over. You know, we have technology everywhere. Technology which is like the mobile and the computer that we've even accepted. So that's, um, you know, that's the point. That's, that's basically it, is that um, the trick really is to convince human beings. And look, they could even really convince me of it. I just didn't, I, because I, even though I know this is not a natural realm, you know, and this is also human input that we live in that deception where we are told, oh yes, we have got to keep nature, we've got to keep, uh, you know, got to keep this so-called planet, which is really a matrix, not a planet. Um, from it doesn't matter even if it was a planet because it's consumed by technology anyway, but it's not. But you know, I don't even know this for sure. I can't see anything. I just know what I feel and what I see around me. But it probably doesn't matter. But either way, you, you know, that is the trick of the game too: is to convince the technology um, as the as the, the look the technological being that run, rule, and dominate, and control this matrix, or this earth, if you like, um, are technological. That is their essence. That's what they're made of. And they believe that they should be the controlling force. They believe they have, they believe that they have the same, um, light just come on opposite there. After midnight, see how light come on and the fella come out? Is that strange or not? That's to distract me from my conversation. Maybe I'm making a bit of sense here. I don't know. That's interesting. Because, you know, when I get on a roll, sometimes even if, even if you know, I, you know, um, you know, I can um, be vaguely comprehensible. Now let me keep going. Let me try and get back on track. See, that was a that was a diversion. That was to take me off, to distract me. And let's be honest, I am easily distracted, as you know. Matrix puts you off balance to where you can't focus. That's the whole thing, you know. But where was I? Yeah, the whole trick of the matrix is really because the matrix god and its technical minions its technical disciples which is most of the earth now because they um they believe that they are they want to be more above a human being so they have to so they believe that their technology is spiritual if you know if you're following me here so this is their mindset so they create their, um, their denominations and their belief systems around the world that we follow that, that emulate and have three quarters human input into them in the sense that they, um, you know, they have all the, the positive human ideas incorporated into technology. Oh, I'm not explaining this right. Because if you, because it, because put it this way, supposing you know, like the matrix is all artificial, it's all technology. But their game, I think, is to um, I think their game is to um, try to surpass the natural spiritual human being and kind of. Uh, um, take complete control and they think if they can take complete control of the remaining humans in the matrix that they will um, somehow um, have superiority and uh, uh, somehow have more uh, dominance oh, I don't understand that because I don't know how far what I don't know where, how far these, how much control these beings have outside of the matrix. Even. You know what I mean? I don't understand that, but that would depend. But the, uh, you know, so I'm going over my own mind here, and over my own abilities, and over my own. Now 
are heading up after midnight probably, but as you can see, we've still got the matrix traffic going in total lockdown. But I'm, 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 going, I'm overstepping my mark because I need more information, but I also need to see it. And you see, the trick of the matrix too is that as human beings, we don't see everything. We don't see everything. I don't see most. Even when I get, even when I make my little speeches, as, as I've been told, um, I don't get. I don't see everything. I see the matrix, and I come to my conclusions based on what's around me. So I, I know that there's some that there's merit to it, but I don't see beyond the matrix. I don't see beyond the matrix. So, but that of course is the trick of it too, you see. Oh, I've lost my train of thought. Oh, you know, the trick of it is, is that you have to still somehow keep on track or on what you... Of, you know, you, 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 you know, because over a lifetime I've done everything wrong and went off track, shall we say, because even if it's down to just a personal relationship, if you fail that, if you flaunt your, uh, your task or like what you meant to do, like, like for instance, if you fail as a mother or you fail, you don't perform your duties, you don't carry it through, in any relationship for that matter, uh, then you've, you've played for the matrix and you've failed, as I've done. So then the matrix gets more domination over you and, um, and you know, because you're in the dark, because that's really all you can do in the matrix if it's suppressed you, if it's, if it's taken over as it has, suppressed strongly. Um, but essentially, you know, I've got confused here, and essentially in many ways, I, I now think that that is what the trick of the matrix is. Not the trick, but that's the, um, it is the trick in the sense that you're not aware of it. It's the, it's the confusion that you're not meant to really think probably beyond the matrix while you're here. You're not probably, you're not, you're not able to anyway, but you're meant to still find your way out by your, by your actions, by not being so negative, I think perhaps, because that's what I'm saying, because when you become aware that everything around you is negative and anti-life and against you, it Re, it, it emphasizes that to you that you've been faulty too because you haven't um, been as strong a life force as what you're meant to be. You know you have some of it in you, but you know you have failed, failed that while you've lived in this life, at least, you know, while you're living in this life, you know, at least, you know, you, you know that. So you're more aware that you, um, you know, of course you would like to turn back time so, so, you, you, so you can rectify it, but you can't do that either. Time only goes forward. It's all happening now, but it's also already happened. But only the moment can be changed, really. I think. I don't know if I made sense there. I might not have. Um, well, you know, we know that you can only live in the moment, so the moment then creates what the reality is. It doesn't, it, 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 um, but what is the reality? You know, the reality is, is technology versus um, um, the spiritual, really, in a way, if you want to look at it that way. But I was trying to explain that because the technological beings um, are trying to take over the spirituality and the human beings, and probably have in some ways. In fact, they have taken over that in my life, in a way. Not the technology, but certainly they've took over the spirituality. 
you know, whereas now they've got the, the technology in your face to where you're aware of it. But they were always here taking over your spirit. See, that's where we're in the end time because now the technical beings are showing themselves. Now the technology has shown itself. Now the technological God is showing himself, showing itself. I should say itself because it's not um, of one denomination or the other. You know, it's going to come in, um, you know, two different varieties, as we know. I know there are variances that other people might emphasise to a point, but essentially you just have the two beings that come together to create life. That's how it's meant to be in a natural, normal, spiritual human world. And that's the, the, the thing is, is that that's what this domain was originally meant to be, of course. We even know that. We know that it was a natural world that, um, that's deteriorated, even if you think it's a, an earth, you know? Even if, well, it is an earth matrix, but even if you think it's like a, uh, that every, you know, that everything is like natural matrix, I don't know these things. I'm only saying that if it's a matrix, it is controlled more by the vibration in the human thoughts. So therefore, it's, everything is not quite what we think, you know, because you see that. Um, I think I'm finishing up on my fancy uh, stuff, spiritual stuff here. I'm just going to say that look, I'm waiting on um, I'm waiting on a visitor, you know. But um, by that, because I didn't put out the videos that I recorded yesterday, because um, you know, it wasn't just me involved in the video, and I thought perhaps we've got a little bit to. Uh, a little bit to uh, what's the word? You know, the language was not um, not restrained enough, not not um, not entirely acceptable. It, it, in only in the sense that you know, like if you're making a video, you know, you you can be emotional, but you don't want to be too, um, you know. Um, yeah. I know that the Matrix is not really a pretty place in a way. So it drives me. Oh, it comes. for a better one than yesterday. I can't hear you, you've got your stupid face mask on. I kept it, I kept it, I know I had got the face mask on, but I kept it on because, um, you know, I was in the 7-Eleven, you know, but actually I had the police in there with me, they were getting stuck in there. And, uh, so I was carried out fairly quick and I, um, I've had no coffee, I've had no for my coffee anyway. What? I've had most of my coffee anyway, so I've filled yeah. it up just in case they come back there. I mean, it's just that way it just makes it, just makes it look... I know, but, you know, but, but if you fill it up more, it still makes it look... Yeah, when you stand out, uh, uh, that's all. Fake. Is that what? Oh, I said these are all fake? Well, it's you stand about here, you put it on, it? you go out there and leave it off, you walk out in the back, you have it on, you go down Norton Street, take it over. There's no rhyme or logic to what you do. Really. Well, that's true, but that's because I get the, I get confused by it all, and I, sometimes I actually forget, you know, that you're supposed to even wear it. Remember how I walked in there the other day with it down, so I, I forgot yeah, that's not really that you had, I just forgot, and I'm going up there, and, and I wonder why I'm getting the dirty look, but you know. I'm not talking about what you're, you're yeah, anyway. You know what I mean? 
But do you're a bit unlucky, I have to admit, because Why? just before I left, it was dry, and then um, I didn't get wet at all. Oh, you didn't get wet. That's good because I actually, um, you know, I I didn't realise. Look at the ro- look at the road. It's as wet as anything. Yeah, it's but I, I didn't get wet either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sprinkled. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, that's because of the mask. And, um, also, I do still have that stuff in my ears, so I'm not sure how loud everything. Your voice, when you talk and when you've got that in your ears, you probably talk a fair bit louder, you know. Yeah. And then I'm talking through the mask as well. In fact, actually, I can feel my breathing being twice heavier when you're talking through yeah. the mask. Yeah. Well, I should pull it down, really. But, but yeah, I just... But, yeah, I didn't know it had rained. And, um, and actually, it must have rained harder up here, even, because it wasn't as wet outside my house. So I didn't really realise, because I would have put a... Yeah, I would have put that little rain thing on there, you know? Yeah, there's not, there's not much rain at all. But I think I'll be right in there. It's very light. I don't mind getting a bit wet if I'm just a block from home or something. So. Yeah, it's pretty light whatever rain there is. But I, but I was a bit worried about you, not worried, but um, but I thought, oh yeah, if the rain oh, comes look, down... Looks like there was not much anyway, so I didn't even worry about putting a jacket on. I can see that. I was expecting you to turn up with all that... You know, completely with that whole wet outfit on, and I thought oh, you'd be wet through when you come in. I thought, what a nuisance that you had to go and get those groceries. Yeah, no, it was alright. You know, and yeah, no, uh, fine. Well, that's good. Then. So mm. it must have just rained between that time, then. Yeah. It rained when I was in Coles. Oh, did it? So while you were in there, started that's sprinkling good. just as I was walking in, and then it st- was stopped when I came out, and it started sprinkling just now when I was pulling around the corner here. But. <laughs> that's good, then. I just keep filming this road here. It's quiet tonight, isn't it? Don't you think? Or is that just me because I can't yeah. bully you? Yeah, Put the usual cars down there at the kebab shop. That kebab shop does all right these days, doesn't it? There's always people pull up there. Some, and all those big trucks that I've seen in recent time, maybe you used to see the trucks pull up. Maybe they've discovered it. It always looks better to take pictures or to film on a wet road, I think. Mm. You know, those photos that you can't find, you know, those only ones that I took years ago I came out of the road. I only filmed them that one or two nights when the road was wet, you know. But I always liked them because it looked, um, I tried to get the rain in too. I remembered it was actually raining and I tried to get the rain hoping it would come out. It did mm. come out, but not as good as what I hoped. Those photos seem to have disappeared. Yeah. But you must have them somewhere. Because you only downloaded half the stuff. Half mm. the, well, about, well, maybe more than half the photos. But but I noticed those ones of the bride shop weren't there. You know, remember how you used to take the photos of the dummies that had the bride's dresses on? Yeah. Remember how my, my aim was to keep taking those dummies, taking the photos of the dummies every time they change the outfit, I take a photo, I was supposed to. Mm. But then the, they, they, put, they, but they took those dummies away and folded that shop up. Yeah. I liked that shop. That was the best bride shop because it had the two dummies in the window. And they always had a nice display, didn't they? Mm. You called me sweet though. No. Not interested in oh, you're whatever you're doing with your video and stuff. Well I'm only talking about the shop, so that's not so terrible, is it? No, it's okay. Even you took a photo of them brides, remember the dummies? Remember how you took a really good one or two photos one night when, when I was there and you showed me how I could take a better angle? Mm. Remember? Mm-hmm. Not the one that was sitting on that seat. That was a real good display though. I mean, they didn't change it from a bride shop. They just changed the type of dresses, so they got rid of the dummies. Yeah, fair enough. I think those dummies were made for those particular dresses. Mm. Well, yeah. Yeah. But they were quite good dummies, weren't they? Mm. They were real nice, quite pretty. You got your mobile there too? Yeah. Oh, I can see. I thought you were falling asleep, but you're just crying on the mobile. Yeah. Is your coffee still hot? I didn't get any drink because I was trying to be quick with the sleep. 
not the I hold them up, but I'll just get the coffee and go straight to the thing before them that way I'm not caught behind them, you know. <coughs> I'll say that they look like two normal policemen to me, those ones in there. You know why? Okay. No, I don't. Well, I really did, you know? No, but you know how you expect policemen to be quite big? Like, you make the same points over and over. It's like a TV that's on repeat. Okay. Okay. You can go on about women, police, and blah, 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 blah. I, I don't care. I don't care. I have no, no interest. Same shit every day. What's that? Same shit every day. What's tonight, Patrick? Now, but what day is it? You could tell me, I'm told you now. Is it Tuesday night? Probably. Okay, so it is Tuesday night. Uh, what's the date, do you know? I don't know. Well, I'm just asking. Because I'm just saying, you know, I'm... I'm going to go walk, I No, don't do that. You don't have to. I'm just saying, I'm not doing anything wrong. I don't want to be around while you're in your fucking video. Computer mode. Or well, I wouldn't mind if you were doing it on yours. I wouldn't care. I don't care what that means. Well, if you were doing a video there. Yeah, but you're autistic, so I wouldn't expect you to care. You'd, of course you wouldn't, but if I was doing something you didn't want me to do, you would. But if you were doing something that I want you to do all the time, I wouldn't care. Of course you wouldn't, because you're a selfish prep. Like, <laughs> all you care about is yourself before you have a pet about My whole life. I'm going to fucking regret it one day. I'll regret it now. No, you'll regret it one day properly. I mean, such a selfish cow. Otherwise, you would have stopped by now. Can't say you regret it and still keep doing it. That light went off of its own accord. Normally, it goes off when. When you step out there. Oh, does it just stay on for a bit of a while and then go off, I think, maybe? Yeah, it stays on for a while, then it automatically goes off, but if you shut it off, it goes on again. So you went to Asheville, did you? Yeah. Something like that. Did you get everything? Mm. Well, big boy's hungry anyway. Mm -hmm. Want me to turn the video off for you? Okay, what you do? Well, if it's annoying you, you know. Well, I've stopped you before. What's that? I've never stopped you before. No, but I like to film when it's got the wet road. I think it just looks a bit better, you know? Don't you think so? And I'm just wondering, you know, like what the traffic's like on a particular night, you know. Don't forget we've still got the total lockdown. You know, I think we should be filming oh, Get a light, alright? Shut up. Fucking a light. I'm lonely person I've ever met. But deserving. <coughs> no, but in a few years' time, it might be interesting to look at it because you might say, oh, yeah, you know, hopefully all this will pass, you know. All things must pass. That used to be a song, I think, years ago. Probably a bit before your time, just a bit before. You know, so then it might be interesting to say, oh yeah, we, we remember, we, you know, a bit like, you know, how people, how we used to ask them, um, you know, how you'd probably ask them, um, you'd ask Daddy, like, what was the depression like, you know, that sort of thing, you know, how you feel, you know, like, So 
why we're we were sitting here during the lockdown of Sydney. You know. Shut up! You sound so cringy. It's painful to listen to. It's like if like you know like my fucking hundred year old grandmother decided she was gonna like tell a little story because the kids will find it very like fuck off. You fucking bitch. No one gives a shit about this stupid fucking picture of a robe that could have been filmed any time in the last forty years and you wouldn't know the difference. Well, I used to film this right, well, not film uh, it, but I took photos of this road long before that. I thought it was just interesting, but now, you know, I don't know why I thought it was. I think it's because of the other I think it's because I thought that, you know, how... how You're literally the only person that finds it interesting. Well, that's probably true. I admit it's that I used to think, because I know it's not nice in the daytime when you've got a lot of traffic, it's, it can be busy, but I used to think of the night... Not... looks like. What? Oh, but I just, well, no, well, I, well, that's probably true. Hold on. When you gave me that little camera years ago, you know, I just thought it was interesting to use it. And if you live in Sydney, you know, like, yeah, you've got to look for what's around to take a photo. Because if you're not taking photos of people or... You know, I just thought that this road, yeah. when it's wet and when the lights are all on, and there's a few spots where it's not too bad, that's the way you do them. Most of it isn't that photogenic, so I'll give you that. But up here, I think, is probably the best spot, you know, because yeah. you, you know, you've got all those lights converging and a few of those lights that the old door lights down, a few things like that, you know. But even with Parramatta Road, this used to be like, you know, you stopped years and years ago. I never lived here then, but, you know, like, this would have been all the shopping centre all along here, wouldn't it? Like, every single thing along here would have been a shop, whereas now it's all dead. There's nothing, there's most of the shops, are, you know, mm. they look like shops. There's a few that are still there, you know, but they, but they struggle to survive, don't they, really? Mm. Do you think that, that what is it over there called, that rush, that sushi bar over there, do you think, and, well, the shoe shop might stay because that's kind of a special thing, do you know what I mean? Like, but apart from the kebab shop that caters to the late night, late night traffic or whatever, um, you know, like, you know what I mean? Is there a moon tonight? Do you know? Yeah. I think I saw the moon really big the other night, but I didn't. Um, I didn't get a, a thing of it. But I think I saw it somewhere, and I remember seeing it. It looked quite a bit bigger. You know how sometimes you you yourself said when it's on the horizon, it sometimes looks a bit bigger. Somewhere, but I don't know if it's around. What are you doing on your mobile? Nothing. Yeah, okay. Fucking annoying me. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Just trying to be safe. Okay, I'll, I'll fold it up then. I'll just... Not many trucks tonight, am I? Okay. What? That's typical, isn't it? If I was talking, the traffic would be loud, but because I'm not talking and no one wants to say nothing, I, it's gone quiet. That's the way it goes, isn't it? Still a few buses around, though. Mm But the reason that I wanted to take a few photos years ago when 
up just here on Parramatta Road and why I did. At the time, I thought to myself, it's not even if it's interesting, but you know, you could take a photo of any area, you could even take a photo of a country town, even if you were living there, anywhere where you're living. But you know, like if you take it, you know how it's interesting sometimes 10, 20 years later, because you see how much everything's changed. And you're like, you know, because some places change a real lot, you know, and others don't. You know what I mean? Patrick, you know what I mean? What? Do you know what I mean? No, yeah, sure. Remember, like in Hurstville, how a lot of things changed there. You know, they got rid of that drug big cinema and then they built other ones and. And like when I first lived there, they didn't have the great big mall, the big shopping centre. It was just shops along the main street. It would have been kind of interesting to take some photos, which I didn't do, and which you don't think to do. And you, you know, I mean, these days you can because everyone's got a mobile, you know. But back then, you're not going to do that, no. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, because then you'd be able to show someone and say, "Oh, that was what." Don't you think that's <coughs> kind of a bit interesting? It just a bit like when you look at old photos, you know, like when you were kids and things, you know, it's just a, you know, it's not a big deal, but it's nice to have a few, isn't it, just now? Mm -hmm. I re you know, we were, when we were kids, we lived in Petersham. That's actually just around the corner here. I never thought, I never sort of thought I'd actually go back and live in the same area, you know? Mm -hmm. I can't remember it much anyway. You're making that up. What? What you thought. What do you mean? You heard me. What do you mean I'm making it up? Thought that you weren't going to come back and move to that area ever. Well, well, when you, well you know, when I lived in Hurstville, I never thought I'd come and live here. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't even remember any of this area. I don't know it at all. I didn't know it at all when I came. You know. Yeah, when you were Hurstville. What's that? I don't think so. I thought you were talking about when you were young, not when you were Hurstville. But anyway, I guess whatever you're chopping and changing. Well, I can't remember. You can't remember much. That was my point. Mm. Six. No, no, but you can remember that thought somehow. I remember the place of Peter's and I remember yeah, how... Remember the fort, but I'm not going to No, I didn't think that when I was five years old. No, of course not. I thought it, I, I thought it when I come here, you know, because I didn't actually realise, I didn't actually realise that Peter's in the ground of the It didn't even occur to me, I just got stuck here in my part. And you know how poor I am at areas and places and things? I don't really... You know, I know I've lived in Sydney, but I actually don't know a lot about even the suburbs in Sydney a real lot, much less other, other places, you know. Yeah. I've just never been very worldly that way. I know more about the countries in the world now than what I ever used to, and that's not a lot, not a lot. No. I guess I do, have to, do tend to live a bit in my own world that way. I just walk around certain streets and I don't really think too much about... You know, like you showed me more places around here when you come in. I didn't even know there was all the water and stuff. And I was in my own way, you know. I used to just skip on all this Parramatta Road and the same things, go to the, a lot of the same places. What you do now? What? What you do. Well, I do it now too, but I did, but I did for... But I did for a while. Hmm? We used to walk single over near the water and stuff. That was all right, wasn't it? Yeah. I could hear you say something about mining and stuff, but 
but I'm not. I'm just talking about just making conversation. You know. Maybe I'm not doing it very good. You've got a camera in here, so I'm not making conversation with you. You fuck my shit before I make conversation with you. Well, I'd off hold up and we can continue on with that. You know, I'm just, just trying to film a bit of a thing. I mean, obviously, I think you're interesting enough to. to oh, Not even constant. Try to, try to get the brain thing as well, you know, like when you... What? Almost every other retard around. What, what's that? It's going to be just the same as every other retard around. Oh, well, that's all right. As long as you don't think I'm the worst, that's a mind thing. Can't hear you? So you are all the worst. All, all of what? Patrick, could you ask, could, could you answer a practical question for me? You can't? I haven't asked it yet, but you, you're not interested. <coughs> well, I'm not going to help you out with anything. Why not? Because you do the opposite to me, so fuck yourself. It's going to be my new approach to people that annoy me. They're just going to get cut off straight away. You're all a waste of time. It is all beyond any form of like useful fucking good person at all. So I don't know. Have you known some good people in your life? I'm not talking to you, I'm just telling you that. You've got a bit numb sitting on these steps, can't you? Hey, what about that license thing, Patrick? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Weren't you going to go for that in September? Yep. You still going to go for it? No. Nope. Why not? I'm waiting for the lockdown thing to finish. Oh, you can't go for it because of the lockdown? Okay. That's a nuisance, isn't it? That was just a yeah, well, you know, time to use everything. Okay. I didn't say that. You hmm? said that. No, but I mean, it's unlucky that the lockdown has been over the last, what, two, three, well, how long has it been now since they had that total lockdown? Because I've lost track of it. When did it? 
how long would you say? Because you booked that, didn't you, like um, a few months ago, I believe? Mind you, it wouldn't make too much difference with the lockdown because if you had a car and you wanted to go somewhere or go out of Sydney or go interstate or anywhere for that matter, travel, you wouldn't be able to anyway. Well, maybe you could. Anyway, you know, like, forget some of the stuff that I say. I know you think it's rubbish, but... It can be quite interesting, you know, you see all the different vehicles and the different cars and things, you know, it's just not, it's not entirely uninteresting, it's, especially when it's busy and you get a lot of, it's calmed down a bit tonight now, but it must be getting on a bit, it'd be about one o'clock now, wouldn't it, or something? And I'm getting later, aren't I? Jeez. Actually, that rain's made it a bit warmer, it's not as cold as what I thought, because it's seen cold and, oh dear! That's on mum here. Oh, see those steps. You know what I mean? Yeah. 